have you ever felt like everybody has their whole life planned out and you're still trying to figure out what you're going to major in or what career you want? If so, in this video, we're going to talk about what career personality you are and the six career personality types. I'm really excited because we have a special guest with us today, Michelle Cho, who is the co-founder of Gladio.org. We're actually in the YouTube space LA right now, so we're very excited about shooting here. And I'm also hoping to get more voices on our channel to share more wisdom and awesomeness with you guys so we can help you even more on your journey to college and beyond. So Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about what Gladio is and what your mission is? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So Gladio.org is a virtual career day. We're an mm -hmm. online platform that helps anyone, anywhere find and pursue their dream career. So it consists of a career quiz, career videos, profiles and infographics, and then we connect you to resources and opportunities that help you successfully pursue that career. Okay, great. And today we're gonna talk about career personalities. Can you tell us what is a career personality? So there's an American psychologist named Dr. Holland, and he said, the choice of a career is an expression of personality. And he suggested that people work best in work environments that match their preferences and their personality types. So he created Holland's Codes, which is basically six personality types that the Department of Labor uses to classify careers. And so when choosing a career, it's important to identify your personality types. And usually you're a combination of two or three personality types. And once you identify them, then you can find the careers that match them. Okay, awesome. So here we go. First personality. Okay, the builder. The builder is somebody who likes to work with their hands, very active, good with tools, machines, somebody who is very good with physical skills. So builder would be somebody who works in athletics, somebody who contractor, an architect. Usually a lot of people who work in production, for instance, you know, you're working on a movie set and somebody has to create this, like, you know, create the wardrobe, has to create the set. A lot of people who build houses, from the electricians to the iron workers to the carpenters. The next one, the creator. A lot of people think the creator means somebody who can draw or paint, you know, artistic abilities. Yes, those are creators too. But it's also people who think outside the box. They're not just gonna accept a rule and be like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna follow it no matter what. There are people who can see different perspectives and also come up with new ideas and new products. Usually they stay away from repetitive tasks. Traditionally, you, you can think a creator as a graphic designer or any type of artist, but a creator can also be somebody, an entrepreneur is a creator usually. Filmmaker, a producer, they can be people who, like in a company, the creative people personalities are the people like maybe product designers, right. which product designers are people who come up with the idea of, of a new product. Right. But again, even, even with all of these careers, like you said earlier, most careers are a combination and most human beings yes or a combination of a lot of these different personality types. So it doesn't mean that if you're creative, that you're not also a builder or you're not also a problem solver or something else. Exactly, all careers are a combination. Right. So like a medical scientist, I mean, you think, okay, maybe that's probably just problem solver, but no, problem solver, they're a builder and they're a creator because they're coming up with you know a new solution for a certain medical problem. I think this is actually a really good message because I know like when I was growing up, I always felt like I'm a creative, right? I loved being creative when I was a kid. I also loved building things. But I think I always felt like to be creative, I had to go into the arts, right? Like I had to major in film or I had to be an actress or do something like that. And I think now that I'm older, I realize that being creative is just like, it's part of your personality. Mm -hmm. And in so many organizations, creativity is a valued skill mm -hmm. and it's an asset and it's a part of who you are that you don't have to necessarily be a professional artist in order to be creative, right? Would you agree? Yes, totally. But the truth is, you can go to healthcare and you can be creative, yeah. right? Like every so industry, cool. every company, right has every personality type. That's mind blowing. Yeah. Every single personality type, we should cultivate all of them. Right. But knowing what you just naturally are right. good at, then you can kind of steer your way to like which career you want in a certain industry. Okay, then the persuader. This personality strength is not really highlighted in, in high school. The persuader is somebody who can lead people, who can sell anything to anybody. You know, I say it's anybody who can sell water to a whale. 
You know, you know that person in your high school who can just convince you of anything, good or bad, right? Um, but that person, that skill is actually very, very valued in any company, you know, right. sales, for instance. And you know, in every organization, any company, sales is a huge part, you know? Persuaders are also self-starters. Nobody's telling you to do it, you just do it. Right, so yeah, there's a little bit of an entrepreneurial yes, yes. vibe with the persuader, it sounds yes, like. Or exactly. they can just go out there and they're not afraid and they can just yeah. talk Public to speaking, yeah. 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 And what are some specific careers where that kind of sales ability or ability to persuade people comes in? Real estate agent, right? A lot of the people who are politicians have the persuader personality. This could even be, I would say, like social media manager. Like if you guys are really good at Instagram, that's like a huge asset. And people will hire you to help their company yeah. like Instagram better. And then the people person. Somebody who likes people, specifically likes to serve and help people. You know, I mean, the best people person career is really nurse. You know, somebody who's very patient with people, finds joy in helping them help somebody get better or help, help somebody learn something. You know, so a teacher is a people person, a therapist, even also people who work in sales, in customer service. And then there's the organizer. And the organizer is somebody who likes structure, processes, and can, you know, complete tasks with accuracy and precision. You know, and it's somebody who, you know, works in operations and that person is somebody who likes to make sure that things are done um, on time, on budget. Specific careers are like, for instance, like an accountant, okay. you know, or somebody who's like an event planner. Right. You know, when you're doing like wedding planning, sure. you need somebody who's like very methodical, right? Somebody who just likes rules and order. Right. You know? So that like kind of A type maybe personality who is like all the ducks are in a row. Yes, yes. Or like if you're the person who like your study notes are like in four colors color coded, exactly. right? That person yes. who has like way too many office supplies. Yeah, you okay. just use Google Calendar cool. and like your desk is very organized. Right. Yeah. And last, the problem solver. The problem solver is like somebody who likes to solve complex problems, somebody who's very an analytical, inquisitive. So software engineers, okay. any type of engineer, professors, certain types of professors. And you know, normally in high school, the personality type that gets considered the most intelligent is the problem solver. But in the real world, all of the personality types are valued and needed to actually have any organization succeed. So I think we need to change the paradigm from how intelligent are you to how are you intelligent. And a lot of these skills, I think I'll just point out, a lot of these careers are not necessarily skills, so to speak, that are taught in school, right? Right. A lot of these personality strengths are things that you actually naturally do, but you can also work on all of them. Right. So when you're taking the career quiz, it's really finding what you're naturally good at. Right. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't be cultivating the other personality types. Yeah. Okay. Once you figure out, like, like these personality types seem pretty straightforward and simple, right? Like, I think figuring out if you're like a people person or a data person, like that might be much easier than figuring out what the heck you're going to do with that fact. So how do students take that information or how do people take that information and then turn it into, oh, this is actually a career path I want to pursue? Or how do they figure out which careers fit that? Yeah, so on our actually platform, you can take a career quiz and it gives you a, a bunch of questions that you can figure out your personality strengths. And then it asks you questions about your interests. And then it actually shows you your top three personality strengths and then all the careers and industries that match, right? And so when you press a career profile, then you can watch a video of a real life person who's working in that career. And our videos talk about like, what was their motivation to going into that career? We don't just talk about like what's needed in your skills or education. And then once you're inspired by a person's individual stories, then you can look at our career profiles and it tells you exactly what you need to do, like to pursue that career from major to how to get your first internship to, you know, how to network. And then a bunch of list of resources of different organizations you can join. Professional associations, that's something that you guys should look into. There are professional associations for every single industry, from advertising to architecture to film. And a lot of those organizations have free webinars. They have live Facebook live streams and even networking events. And I think 
in order to translate what your personality strengths are to careers is you need to start exploring what's out there. So on our career quiz, you, you can actually take the quiz and it suggests different careers, but we're adding careers every single month because for instance, like social media manager, like that didn't even exist like what, seven right. years ago, yeah, it wasn't. right? So you need to just get yourself out there and start right. absorbing and learning right. and just being exposing yourself to all these yeah. different things. Even if you're like in high school or college or yeah. I do a meetup group? Is that the... I think the more that? you know about yourself and the yeah. more you know about what's out there, mm -hmm. it, it gives you a direction in your right. life. You know, you're going you're gonna to make better decisions. Sure. You're probably going to save more money right. <laughs> and time. And if we can share one idea with this video that makes me really excited, you guys, it's that you are who you are and you have all these talents. And like whatever you think, this is my career and this is like what I'm going to do, it's actually like almost a relief, I feel like, right? If we have yeah. these six personality types and we start with that, there are so many ways that you guys can make a difference in the world. And whatever you think that like one box that you can check off, you know, I think life is a series of opportunities mm -hmm. and you have to listen to those opportunities. And I know we were talking about this before the cameras even started rolling, but I think there's also this idea that oftentimes, I think you guys feel like you have to pick a career from all the careers that you've heard of right now. And some careers that are going to be around after you graduate from college don't exist right now. Yeah. And we don't even know what they are. Yeah. We're not sure. We're not sure what those careers are gonna be. <laughs> and that's why I think this is so empowering, that this is about learning yourself so that you know like what kind of a worker you wanna be and what kind of a participant in our economy and in our world you wanna be. And then you know the rest can kind of follow as long as you keep an open ear and you're yeah. exploring. And one awesome way that you can do that is on Gladio. Thank you so much for joining us, Michelle. It was really awesome to have you. Like I said, we're gonna be interviewing more awesome people. We may even be interviewing someone running for president. If you guys like this video and you liked seeing conversation and having more voices on our channel, tell us below in the comments. And if you have more ideas on the kinds of information that you guys want as you navigate college admissions, career and beyond, Post a comment below this video and let us know. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to get more awesome tips. You can find us on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And Michelle, how can students find out more about Gladio and all the resources you offer? Yeah, so our website is gladio.org. You can take the career quiz there and figure out your personality types and the careers that match them. We're also on YouTube and Instagram. Also, you can always check out the best ACT and SAT prep courses ever at supertutortv.com if you're prepping for the SAT or ACT. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.